Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my own personal workout split. So my own personal workout split is something that I have created myself, basically just using what knowledge I know and knowing what I'm comfortable doing throughout the week. So basically when you're weight training, you're creating these itty bitty tears inside your muscles. So in order to repair those muscles, we need to have a good balanced diet consisting of proteins, healthy fats, and healthy carbs. And then also making sure that we give our body time to rest and recover, such as rest days. I also don't recommend training the same um, muscle group two consecutive days in a row, at least taking one day in a break and also listen to your body. So like if it just happens to be two days later and it's leg day and you're still super sore, like I would honestly just opt out for training legs again, making sure you're doing stretching and making sure you're foam rolling. Um, don't like wussy out on every workout, but again, just listen to your body and know that your body's probably not ready to train that same muscle group again. So this is what my personal split looks like. And again, everybody's gonna be different. Like this is just something I've created that I'm comfortable with. So day one is a leg day and a shoulder tricep day. So I don't go super freaking hard on legs and glutes, just a little bit. And I also do a little bit of shoulder and triceps. So it's really not a long workout. I'm just doing, again, probably um, four leg workouts and then three shoulder and three tricep workouts. Day two is a back and biceps workout. Um, it's pretty simple. I'm not gonna like tell you what I what I do because you know my workouts can be different than yours. This is just what my routine looks like or my workout split looks like. And then day three is a rest day. Day four is again a leg day, spending a lot more time with legs, doing, you know, it can depend. Sometimes it's more um, compound movements, sometimes it's more like isolated movements, sometimes it's both. Um, it's just, you know, kind of whatever I feel like doing. We're kind of like debating off what I did on day one, but it's a leg day. <laughs> And then day five is shoulders and triceps. And this is where I spend only time training shoulders and triceps. And I'm gonna spend a lot more time doing both of those. Kind of like I said, day one was taking a little bit of time to do the two, but this other shoulder day and this other leg day are just spending time solely on those muscle groups. And then day six is a rest day. So you'll notice that my workout isn't like, Monday we do this, Tuesday we do this, Wednesday we do this. It's just a six day, um, routine or like split and every six days it starts over so after day six we go back to day one um so really like it can fall in different days of the week now i will say like i'm not perfect like anybody and my rest days sometimes like instead of having two rest days sometimes i have three or even four rest days and i don't beat myself up for it and like i said i listen to my body and knowing that life happens and travel and whatnot but basically what happens if i take an extra rest day so say i do day one of training day two, I accidentally take a rest day, or maybe I do it on purpose. And when I go to day three, I don't just skip to day three in my split. I actually go back to day two. So again, day one would be shoulders and glutes and legs <laughs> and triceps. And then day two technically would be um, back and biceps, but instead I made that a rest day. So then day three is technically going to be back and biceps. So I hope that kind of makes sense. Um, I feel like I should have just like written it out. Maybe I'll put like a little picture right here on the board so you can kind of see what it would look like. Um, to me it makes sense, but it's really kind of hard to explain, especially for video. So I kind of hope this is making sense to you guys. And again, everybody's split is going to be different, um, different from where, you know, you're at in your training life, you know, whether you're beginning or you've been doing this for a long time. And if you want to create your own workout split, you can use mine as a basis. You can also go on like Pinterest and find one. But if you really want something that's very personalized, I recommend reaching out to a personal trainer. And you can even kind of use mine as an example if you really want to. But again, everybody is going to be different. Okay, so let's talk about cardio. I hate cardio. And just a few weeks ago, I talk with my hands so much. I'm so sorry. I know I'm really awkward because I haven't made a lot of videos. And it's really, it's kind of awkward. So um, basically, anyways, back to cardio. <laughs> um... I am not good with cardio, I hate cardio, and I'm just now trying to get back into bringing cardio in my life. So about two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, I started doing hit cardio about two times a week, basically forcing myself to do two times a week, no matter what. Um, I will say that I hate doing hit cardio on days that I train legs, but if I know that it's a better day, like if my legs are not feeling that bad, or I know that I don't have time the rest of the days throughout the week, and I know I have lots of time this particular day, then I'll go ahead and do it. Again, just kind of listening to your body. If my body's like, no, your legs are dead, don't do it, then I won't do it. But yeah, I try to do HIIT at least two times a week. I prefer HIIT um, because like I said, I hate cardio, so this is a lot more high intensity and it takes a lot less time. And then as far as list cardio, like I said, I hate list cardio, but my boyfriend and I have gotten really, really good. And we kind of go through phases where we do this, but we live like 10 minutes away from a like nature walk, like type of hiking trail type thing. I'm really sorry, like the sun keeps hitting, hiding behind clouds and whatnot. Um, so we live not far from like a hiking trail. So we have been trying to go at least two days a week, if not more, for more of a 
low intensity cardio just honestly to get us moving get us more active and it's honestly really beautiful and i love spending time outside so it's there's three different trails but we do the one that's the longest it's 1.7 miles takes about 40 minutes and again we try to do that two times a week so i am doing a different types of cardio here i don't like I'm not a point in my life where i really feel like i need to push myself to do cardio but i know that it's really important um to get your heart rate up and you know just have some cardiovascular movements in my life i hope that made sense cardiovascular movements yeah okay so again that is my workout split i didn't really talk about like the workouts that i do i can make a video if you guys are interested in seeing that i've also thought about like recording my workouts but i'm just really awkward recording in the gym we will see i'm in the process right now of getting my personal training certification i will hopefully have that within the next few months i'm um, i feel like i'm really ready to take the test and i was actually ready back in may but i forgot that i had to have cpr and so i'm taking that through a course through my local university so i basically have to wait the entire semester before i can finish that cpr class to go in and take my exam for my personal training certification but yeah i'm basically just giving you guys what knowledge i have um i don't know i'm really passionate about personal training getting more and more passionate about like just all around health and wellness in general, but especially working out because I freaking love working out. Um, but yeah, this is my split. I hope I kind of got everything that I wanted to get in there. I hope this made sense. Again, I apologize that I'm really awkward and I tend to talk really fast, so I'm really sorry. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, just leave them below in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you guys are interested in videos like this, if you want me to post more like fitness related stuff because i really love talking about it okay thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next one